Right, Lucky Me. Um, so it's a song that was written, I sort of had the idea for it, for the song a couple of years ago. Um, and it, I don't remember too much about how it came about, but I know that I sort of woke up with the song in my head, um, like the melody. Um, and, and yeah, the words just kind of um, came out of that really. But the song is, is primarily about privilege and when people are born into privilege and just seemingly kind of having all the all the luck um and yeah just kind of having being born into that privilege and not really uh giving a monkeys about any anything or anybody else you know just kind of totally exploiting that privilege um so it's it's kind of delivered with a fair bit of venom um because that's not really a world that I, I respect, um, and the the we as a band we sort of rec we I think we played through it l like once or twice together, but it wasn't really a song that we focused on too much. And then when the pandemic happened and we all went into lockdown, um, we were kind of looking for things to record remotely from each other you know just to kind of keep the band going because we didn't have any gigs going on um so we we hit upon the idea of recording a couple of songs we we initially recorded a song called he he which um we released as a single back in april and then we moved on to lucky me which is was more kind of sorry i mean i'm in i'm in my shed and it's quite windy and it's just and the door keeps on flapping about anyway don't worry about that um um, so yeah, Lucky Me was kind of a bit more of our usual style, it's more kind of um, a bit more sort of confrontational I suppose and more, um, a bit more sort of rocky um, and yeah we, so we, the band we all recorded it in isolation, um, the vocals and the acoustic guitar are just recorded on my mobile phone um, and Everybody else in the band um, recorded their bits on top of it. Um, so that's Jay on bass, Martin on drums, and Phil on guitar and basically everything else in the song. Um, also, oh yeah, also I recorded a little bit of uh, organ that you can hear in it, as did Phil. Um, and yeah, Phil produced it. So Phil took all of our tracks separately and he kind of put it into, he sort of assembled it all into something that was cohesive and a mighty fine job he did of that as well. Um, but yeah, the, that, was, that was kind of how it all came about and, and um, so, so it came, sort of came from this sort of seed of an idea that I had a couple of, of years ago but you know as with all of our songs they will all kind of change our much from those sort of that initial idea to, to coming into something more full bodied. Um, so it ended up being a, you know, um, a, a big sort of three dimensional beast in the end. Um, and Phil also contributed a bit of vocals towards the end. We did like this kind of, um, what do you call it? Like a Greek opera or something bit at the end where, where he kind of wrote lyrics in kind of response to, to mine in the chorus. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how it came about, really. That's that's how we we sort of tend to write songs together. They tend to come from like an initial idea, which I mean, I I, I come up with ideas of just writing songs and lyrics on an acoustic guitar. I always kind of I kind of always write songs a bit like I'm busking them, like like um, you know, if you stripped everything away. You could potentially just stand in the middle of the high street and get with an acoustic guitar and sing the songs that I that I come up with. Um, that's just how I, I tend to write things. But um, yeah, with with the rest of the of the guys in the band, it all just kind of comes together as a fully fleshed monster. Anyway, I'm sort of wittering a little bit now, but um, but that's basically our sort of writing process. Um, So yeah, anyway, Lucky Me, it's uh, available on all good streaming websites. Um, 
check it out. It's good.